Hey everybody, Tom Cruise here. Once you have Cruise Control installed, you can double click on the Cruise Control icon. And the first time you launch Cruise Control, you get a couple messages. Uh, we're going to click on the first one. We'll, we'll circle back to that. Uh, this message here is Cruise Control had to update its configuration settings. Please restart Cruise Control. Now that'll happen on the first uh, install. Now we're going to double click on the icon again. <clears throat> and you'll notice it comes up here with a screen. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about this uh, message box here. Uh, the one thing I'm concerned with with IMVU is security. So I really don't want you logging in when you're in Cruise Control. I prefer you log in outside of Cruise Control, inside of Internet Explorer. So what I did is I put this message up in front of you, letting you know, you know, if you're kind of antsy about uh, logging in, you know, inside of a tool, I get that and I respect that. So you, this is, uh, you're more than welcome to log in an Internet Explorer outside of Cruise Control any, at any time. Um, now when you first launch the software, uh, you're going to need to log in with the avatar that you registered with. Now this is key. Uh, so I'm going to go down here. I'm going to type in Tom Cruise. And we're going to log in. And you notice down here in the status bar, it's initializing cruise control. Everything is kind of blanked out here, so you can't get at it until cruise control finishes initializing. And once that happens, uh, these will become enabled. And uh, sometimes, depending on your internet connection, it may take, you know, 10 to 15 seconds for that to, to pop in. So I'm just going to expand this out here. And you'll notice on the main screen here, I have my browser page in front of me, right here. And um, I've got some toolbars over here on the left. Uh, the first thing we're going to take a look at is the friends list. And you can actually download your friends list from IMVU. Just click on the sync button. And you'll notice here that it's uh, downloading the friends list. Now it's loading the friends list into Cruise Control. This is a really neat feature, and you're going to find out why. And every time you sync it up, uh, if there's people that have been removed or removed themselves from your friends list, that'll sync up in here as well whenever you hit that sync button. So this should be finishing up pretty quick. Finalizing the friends list and now one of the things that you'll notice right away is I have built columns that are sortable. So what that means is if you click on a column here, I'm going to click on avatar name and you'll see that it, now it's sorting that column in descending order. Got my Z's, my X's, my V's down here, and it's sorted all the way down to the bottom uh, in descending order. If I click on that column name again, it does the reverse and sorts it in alphabetical ascending order. Um, and if you want to find a uh, or an avatar really fast, um, let's say um, E. I can. I'm just typing in letters here, and it's finding them as I type them. So that means that the avatar name contains an E, a V, and it, it returned me all the avatar names that have E and V in it. And this filtering is can get pretty complex if you wanted to. Um, uh, you can either do a, like a contains filter or it starts with EV. You'll see that I'm clicking down contains EV ends with EV, there's nothing in there that ends with EV. Uh, so you can you can get quite complex inside of here as well. Another neat thing that you can do in the filter section is if you click the down arrow right here, it'll give you a list of all the names that are in that column. And you can just select one if you want. And it'll pull up that name as well. So you can get pretty complex and what you do if you want to clear that out, there's a little clear button right here. You click that, and boom, you're, you've got your list right back. Now I'm going to jump over uh, one of the features that I think is really neat, and uh, I want to 
touch upon this really quick. Um, when I first started looking at cruise control and the mail feature, I talked about doing automation. Uh, you know, after reviewing the terms of service, and uh, uh, I really felt that the respectful thing to do here was give you the ability to send a message at a time, maybe a little bit quicker pace than you could if you were copying and pasting. Uh, so what I've done here is I've got this message tab up here, and I'm just going to type in this is a test to myself. And I'm going to look up Tom Cruise, T-O-M, whoops, I got ends with, so it wasn't finding Tom Cruise. I have to switch that to either starts with or contains. So I'll type in Tom C, Tom Cruise. And I'm actually going to click on that. I don't want to show you my, my message here. Uh, let me go to my inbox. And you'll see the last message I have is from IMVU. So there's my message, and I'm going to send it to Tom Cruise, and I click on Send Message. And you'll notice here on the bottom it says Last Message Status. Tom Cruise will see this message immediately. So you know that the message went. I'm going to refresh my page here, right-click, Refresh, and you'll see that that message is in my inbox. Uh, and you could go to, I'm going to send it to my my guest account, this magical motion is my guest account. Now I purposely blocked anybody from sending me messages on this and I don't have to do anything else. I can send the same message without even going to the message tab because it's going to automatically pick that up and send that same message. But I'm going to send it and watch what happens here. And um, Whoops, I sent it to myself again. So <laughs> we'll take a look at the screen here. Actually, it, it uh, yeah, I got to them. I, I sent it to myself. So let's go um, Magical Motion. And here we go. We're going to send it to Magical Motion, and it should give me a message down below. Guess Magical Motion does not allow anyone to send him or her messages. So the message was blocked. It respects the protocols that IMVU put in place. Uh, so you can't push anything through that's not meant to go through their messaging system. I want to take a little bit of a gear shift here and talk to you about something that I think is a game changer in the way that you look at your products and your sales inside of IMVU. There, there are no public tools out there to do this right now. I'm going to click on the sales tools. And the first thing you're going to see is a screen. I'm going to maximize the screen so we can drill deep inside here. And the first thing you're going to want to do inside of Cruise Control, you'll notice I have a Products tab and I have a Product Sales tab. So the first thing you need to do is to sync up your products for that avatar. Now the real neat thing about this, folks, you can log into all of your avatars and see them on one screen all your products all your sales on one interface so I'm gonna click the sync button right now it's going out to IMVU it's downloaded it, look how fast that was it just downloaded all my products from IMVU um, now I'm gonna show you how easy this is because I think this is really cool and this is gonna save you so much time I'm gonna go ahead and download this particular uh, product here and I'm gonna click a date range that I want to download and I, I want to go back to 2010 so what I'm gonna do to get to 2010 really quick I'm gonna double click up on this November 2011 it's gonna bring me my years and I can double click into my year and I'm gonna go back to January 1 of 2010 and so I've got a date range here that I want to download my sales from 1-1-2010 to today. So I click on, I got my product selected, I click on download sales. And there you are. All my sales. I can sort them. Purchaser, recipient. Um, I don't have any that are derived, uh, but you can, if you want to just filter on derived products, you could click on 
uh, derived, and it would show you just the derived products. Uh, the purchase date, you can sort by date if you need to, uh, and the amount of credits paid for that particular product on that day. And um, now we're going to get down and show you something that's really cool. I'm going to um, uh, download a few more here. I don't even have to change my date. I don't have to do anything. I can click through the products. I can download sales, go to my next one, download sales, go to my next one, download sales, go to the next one. So for you, I'm just going to let these download because I'm going to show you something. Um, and I'm just clicking through here. So you you might be keying in on a, a few products that uh, you know kind of drive your sales. Um, you'll see that I've got quite a bit here. And if you did that date range again, um, let's say you kept clicking on it and clicking on it and clicking on it. Maybe you forgot, or maybe you just down you want to use that date range all the time, and it'll it won't repeat. You know, it won't duplicate putting stuff in there. It recognizes that the product's already in there, or that sale's already in there. So it won't duplicate it. Um, there's a method for my madness here. Just let me get through these. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Jane Ryan is a good friend of mine. She's an author, screenwriter, um, and a uh, really, really cool individual. Um, if you get a chance, you can check out the border projects in the group. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I've downloaded these products here. And you can continue going down through all of your products uh, if you want to. Uh, you, you can use that same date range or whatever date range you need to, the last seven days, what have you. Uh, so I'm going to do something really neat here. I don't have two avatars loaded on here, uh, but I'm going to click on the All button here. And it's going to give me all the sales. You'll see all the different products here. All the sales for every product across all my avatars that I have loaded. And this is really cool. Really, really cool. So let's say I wanted to uh, just show me um, people that have purchased. And I want to group those together. When I do that, you'll see something happens. You'll see all the names are... Our, um, I can sort this just by clicking on that column. All these names are sorted in alphabetical by descending order. Uh, I noticed that uh, Erie Dragon has purchased four items from me, and it shows me what she purchased, how much she paid. So it's a neat way for you to, to really drill down into your data and get a good look at uh, who, who are the people that received uh, the most. Uh, you'll see there's a couple here. Um, that were recipients um, and uh, so if I want to ungroup those I just drag that column back down here now let's take a look at uh, the summarizing let's say you want to summarize your data or total your data I'm gonna click on the Sigma symbol here and what that's going to allow me to do is to click on the way that I want to summarize my data well for the credits paid maybe I want to total it up so I click on that and look what happens I've got a grand total now if you had more avatars loaded in this you would see this the uh, total for all your avatars that you have loaded in here I'm going to go even one step further here and I'm gonna I'm going to group by purchaser again so you can actually see how much uh, people have spent with you so here we go look at this um, you notice that somebody has spent 95,000 uh, credits here. I drilled down, and that was one sale. Uh, so that was a big sale. Um, I'm going to look for Erie uh, again, because I know she had four four things here. And you notice it, it gives me a summary of, of her information. Um, and she was the purchaser. That's what this is grouped by. And these are the recipients right here. So you can mix and match and really fine-tune how you want to see your data now if you have derivable products and you dragged the uh, derived column up here you could see how much you were making on your derived products from who uh, so you can you can really drill down into it um, it's pretty cool